Welcome back, I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. So we got the site work done, we got it all prepped, we're ready to go. All we gotta do now, get to build it and start throwing it up. I bet Wiley's back, he's gonna complain about his back. He's gonna be like, call, you know, I've got plans or something. He's gonna try to get out of helping me build this pole barn. But he ain't, he's gonna help me. Probably buy him a milkshake or something. This thing, it's going up. All right, let's go. Lay them up there and, and secure this side, secure that side, put the runner, and just go down this side and then come back with the other side. And instead of getting down, going over, getting down and going over. Um, okay, I, w sure. My question is, and it, how do you get it square on the other side? Just enough play in it to get it square? Yeah, wouldn't it okay. be? I mean, I guess. I'm, I, I'm ready. I can try anything you want to try. Got any sheep? We both can get on either side if we have to maneuver it around. Uh, yeah, that's what the green strap's for. That's what I had this morning. This on the here, let's do this. Let's swap sides. This one. Okay. Just exactly. Uh, did you want to put it on? Should we have put it on two by fours? I didn't know how much higher it was. We probably do need to. Uh, it probably will. We'll get it worked out. Should be able to raise that up, and then I need to when I get when we put this on there, I'll I'll put this against there. You know what I'm saying? Against the where we line the holes, make my marks, and then scoot it over, drill through, put the bolts in. Be done. Five minutes, we're out of here. All right. Let's just make a test run and see about you setting it up there. All right. Cause. We're gonna to have to have a ladder to climb back up on this to loosen it up once you get it like you want it. Oh yeah. Let's yeah. just keep somebody from being in there. Yeah. Um you don't think we're gonna need walkie talkies today, do you? Uh we'll give the old hand signal. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I number one? <laughs>
we can get one side put in and somebody stay in the basket, then they can pick that end up and maneuver, or we can add more two by fours or whatever. That's uh, I'm just trying to figure, if once we get the first, we know how quick we're going to be. We don't have enough play to bring it. We got that so tight, he can't play and bring it over. But oh, on, on the strap? Yeah. Let's go to that one since you almost got it centered. Oh, I'll come up here. I like to get high, man. <laughs> Uh, hammer. Yeah, they mean the strap deal. We probably are going to have to have somebody in the cage. Probably so we can maneuver around. Yeah, we're going to need a hammer. There you go. Yeah, we'll have to change it up next time. <laughs> Uh. There you go. Like just a little bit. Are we on the post? Uh, so that that end needs to be raised up over there, don't it? Yeah, but we just need to try to get this one to stay still. Well, I'll drill the hole. You come down. Yeah. Once you get up there, I'll, I'll move the ladder over there, and we can uh, put that on top of that post. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was about that time. <laughs> if I could just lift my leg up high enough. Yeah. If I fall, I'm going forward, so don't worry. <laughs> Like I'm about to get a, a cramp in my back of my hamstring. I made it. I survived. Oh my god, I was so scared. Keep it loose, so don't let it trip. Just hold it tight. Okay. Hang on. It's still bound. So let me. I'm gonna raise it up to you, son. All right. Right there. Right there. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. Okay. Do the, let me mark the other side. Hey. What? You like that? Yeah. 
Let's move it over and drill them and get that one put in there. Huh? Hang on, hang on. Well, that's a nice one. Hey. It's stuck. Well, you, you got a reverse or something? I do have it on reverse. All right, well, hang on. Let's don't burn the... It's already burnt. Let's set this thing down. Is that supposed to burn like that? Well, I don't know, Hank. But what happened was, <laughs> was it in the bottom one? No, the bottom one's going to be tough as right now. I know, it's not. Yeah. But you want to set it down on this board where you can maneuver? Uh, what are we doing? I thought you were going to drill the hose. Yeah, let's take it off. Hang on, man. We don't want it to come tumbling down, man. All right. Coming. All right, it's off. Got it? Yeah. Smaller wood drill, I mean wood bit. Put your, put your cordless through it. Two bolts per. Alright, ready? On two bolts per? Yeah. Ready? Right. Yep. Here we go. Right. I feel like I should wash my hand. See what you're saying, yeah. Like the distance between here, no, uh, from look, here to here. This side looks, this it looks closer to the. So it needs to go this way. No, that way. But what, should we measure? I mean, I can't eyeball it. I know. Uh, well, the, this one, this one doesn't matter because we got, we got, uh, we have 18 inches of overhang. So if we need to hit a slot on this side, we got 18 inches. We can move that thing. 
Don't buy a Genesis hammer drill. This thing, really the, the very first hole it drilled, it started smoking. The bits come out, this thing is junk. It has nothing to do with the operator. <laughs> it's factory.
not slapping the things. I just got at the angle. Go ahead, and we'll straighten it up when we get there. Okay, I'll try to get. I'll try to hook this right side. Huh? much because you got so much room that you can come over you can make it center you know what I mean but that's pretty darn <laughs> Show. 
we so jumped off we'll and do. drove and dropped into a bottle and all you can see was his eyes blinking. So I'm gonna take back everything that I bought. Get the nuts for this, a drill, and I'll take all this crap back to Harris because I won't need none of it. You know? Alright, well let me down so I can go. I'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> right, hang on, let me get this side off. So I've been lifting trusses all day yesterday by myself. You know? It's because he's 78, makes it, you know. Okay, get it. <laughs> uh. All right, let's go uh, take some stuff back and we'll just time lapse the rest of them. But now we know what we're doing, supposedly. This one's always called. I mean, you want to call the walk, they're going to send you. You're going to bring that one of the walk since you bring that back up again. <laughs> How much yeah. are they? Huh? How much are they? Um, and they're huh? two twenty nine. And they're three hundred pounds. We can't get up there together. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't, if it wasn't, uh, if it was aluminum. I can see without bucket truck would be perfect to put them, I guess, what do you call them across the top, rafters? Purlins. Purlins. 
You could just zip, 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 and zip, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Isn't that crazy? Told you. Crazy in it. Isn't that crazy in it. Alright. Man, what? I mean, just night and day difference. That the wall. Going up? I don't know which way I like it better. Unless you want to do the middle top one and work our way down. Gonna do the which ones? The top one and work our way down. Don't matter to me. I'm here and we can do it either way. But well, uh, are they gonna be 14s because you got overhang? On so these? we just have to center them on this one. Yeah. Who cares about this side? So what I have to do is I'm gonna have to lift you up and you're gonna have to screw this in, then I'm gonna maneuver you, screw this, screw this, screw this, and then I'll pull you back over here and we'll screw that one. Uh, let's go get some 14s. Uh, okay, let me ask you this. Do you want to bring one at a time or do you want to bring several? Several. Right. several. Look at that. Oh, way to go there, Kelly. <laughs> if that would have broke that wire, huh? If that would have split that wire, what? 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 I would have been it? upset. What would That's you do? That's how the day's going, ain't it? What would you have done? Fired me? No. <laughs> you got a pretty good job security here. Well, you can't get that chunk set for nothing, can you? Where's the 14? There.
you got it right there. And then there should be a screw on both sides. Huh? Screw it in on both sides. Okay. Uh, you want me to, hey, do you need me to turn the machine to my right, your left, to get you closer? Well, I'll tell you what, when we do it again, you might back in and the sun might not be in your eyes so bad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, as long as you're splitting that pocket that you're in right there. Can you reach the other side? Or do I need to move you? Probably when we when we start to go do that one, I can get it. I'm gonna get me to this other one, and then when we go to put that one in there, I can reach around and get it. Okay. So we're going toward the barn. Yeah, we're going toward the barn and screw in this other one. Temple. Can I level these and make sure I'm got these? I'm not pulling the trusses in, or uh, let me eyeball it. Okay. I mean, it, it's not bad. Yeah, there you go. That's good right there. Yep. That's perfect. You like it? I do. You like it a lot? Oh, I'll get it a lot. Where it is. Where's my hey, this is spinning on. What? This is spinning on. I've got uh ratchets it just is here now. I've got a I've got a two plastic containers that's got bits and magnetic bits or magnetic holders on them somewhere. Swap the batteries in. Right? I ain't got good peripheral vision now. Hey, I, I think I can. <laughs> you think it's good enough for that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, uh, I need a hammer. Like a hammer, hammer? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're gonna need one of those. All right. So we got to put a screw in this one and then do the other side. Yeah. Or do you want to? Huh? Which one do you want to do next? Are you want to go ahead and just get the other one on this side? Yeah. Right. That's got a kind of got a flex in it. Oh, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. I just don't like my flexing. <laughs>
Get up here, you got to let me put you up here first and try to finagle that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Break for chow and finish this up later. Huh? I said, let's break for chow and finish this up later. <laughs> you all right, bud? So I'll hang you. We'll hang him and I'll tilt you left and right.
hot. So all we got to do now, the concrete guys are coming this afternoon. They're going to form it up. They're going to pour concrete tomorrow. We'll worry about the fascia board and the metal um, next week sometime. Today is Friday, so we'll probably start Monday or Tuesday on the metal. But tomorrow, yeah, that would give it you know a couple days for us to let the concrete cure and all that good stuff. One minute, 37 seconds later. What y'all don't know is I literally, Wiley just left like two seconds ago and the concrete guys show up. They're gonna form today. And I know in the last video I said that they'll be here tomorrow, but they actually got here this afternoon. So I use Bannon Brothers uh, Construction. Trace Bannon is the guy that owns this company. He did our other pole barn and our other lean-to. Really good guys, professional work. And uh, so, you know, when you're a repeat customer, that says a lot about a company. So anyway, they're here forming it up and uh, getting everything leveled out and all that good jazz. And they'll be pouring tomorrow about noon, which y'all don't care what time it is. But anyway, for me, it'd be about noon that they're pouring it. All right, they're done. They came, they've got the forms all the way around here. Got it graded out, all that good stuff. So tomorrow they'll come with the concrete truck and I'll have the concrete poured. I'll let the concrete sit a couple days and then we will put the metal on. So we got the metal sitting over here. I kept all these, uh, I got to put the fascia up. Now on this particular building, you got to have 18 inch eaves. However, those are probably 21 inches somewhere around in there here i'm thinking about not cutting them off i'm thinking about keeping them that far out which means the metal i may be short on the metal so i may have to go buy two sheets of metal you know for this side and that side if i once i start on that side and run the metal i may end up short because i'm going to keep the longer eaves but i think i'm going to do that and that way i ain't got to cut nothing We'll see. We'll see how it all turns out. But it looks good. I can't wait to get the concrete poured. Let it set a couple days. That gives me time to recuperate. <laughs> me and Wiley. Gives me, me and Wiley worked hard on this thing. Guys will be back out here this morning. They did a really good job yesterday. I think they're going to come back about noon. I just come out here to look at the pad because that's what men do there, right? They look at their pole bar stuff. But look at all this red clay that they've got here. They've got it all compacted and they got it all leveled out and graded out, but man, it gets nasty. That's why I chose to wear my Georgia boot garden boots. These things are waterproof. You can just take some uh, water hose, get all the mud off of them. I keep them on the front porch so I can slip them on, slip them off. You know, we've been partnered with Georgia boot for a couple years now. We love every product they make. They make great work boots, cowboy boots. They make garden boots. They make casual shoes. They make low, you know, like tennis shoes looking shoes. So anyway, you can save 20% with HF20 on Georgia boots when you use that code HF20. So we're gonna wear our Georgia boot garden boots. We're gonna walk around our pad. We're gonna wait for the concrete guys to get here. And uh, hey, this afternoon, we're gonna have concrete on this thing.
Man, that's a good day when they're pouring concrete. That's awesome. I can't, uh, it's exciting. We get excited about uh, about different things, don't we? You know, some people get excited about you know getting a new car. Some people get excited about getting you know a, a new house or something. I get excited about pole barn floors and toolboxes. <laughs> Me and Wiley did a lot of hard work to get that uh, structure put up in time for the concrete guys to get here. So now they're going to finish up, and it's going to be it's just going to be awesome. Here comes truck number two. And it looks like they're gonna have to have a third truck, he says. They're gonna be quite, not quite enough.
Last night it finished up with a smooth finish on the concrete here. Looks really good. It rained all night, so I think it got I think it got hard enough though that it didn't mess up the floor. I don't see any telltale signs of it. I went and kind of walked over it this morning. But Trace Brandon over at Brandon Brothers Concrete and Construction Company. Fantastic job. The guys are awesome. Me and Wiley's got a roofish thing. You believe that? Ugh. <laughs> when you get old, you don't look forward to that kind of stuff. But anyway, I did do something signature to it. Hold on. That's the best I could do right there. Thank you guys. Take care. God bless. Thanks for watching.